if you are running Betaflight 4.3 and you're running Crossfire on any kind of recent firmware, uh, you, it may be negotiating over Crossfire V3. And unfortunately, with Betaflight 4.3, on some flight controllers, this has become a problem and there's a failsafe issue. And we've seen multiple Cinelifters failsafe from this in, uh, in addition to other people's general quads. Um, and this has been enough of a concern that TBS has addressed this and put out their own patch for this. Um, so if I, you have, if you're running but, Crossfire Tracer, you should probably go update to 6.17 uh, to make sure that you are not affected by this bug. Yeah, by by patch you mean they took out the effect, they took out the baud rate negotiation. Correct. So yes. so by baud rate negotiation, uh, Crossfire V3. One of the advantages is that it can go faster and have lower latency um, than Crossfire V2. Uh, and one of the ways that it does that is that it negotiates the baud rate between the receiver and the flight controller. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. And basically, basically the flight controller like can talk back to it and say, "Yeah, we're good with this baud rate. Go ahead and send it." You know, and it confirms that it's all good to go over that CRSF protocol. As opposed to just do what it what it previously did, which is basically do the lowest common denominator and be like, "Yeah, it's fast enough." And so what's happening here seems to be that Crossfire is trying to get to a faster baud rate, failing, failing back down, then trying again, instead of just being like, okay, we can't do this. It just keeps trying to go to the faster baud rate until the flight controller is like, all right, F you, fail safe. Is that yeah. accurate? Uh, well, yeah, it's kind of, I think the issue is, yeah, it just continues to switch negotiation. It may go up and down trying to mm -hmm. look for it, or it may reset negotiation over and over again. But some part of that, uh, along with some of the way the flight controllers are set up, and I get it's likely a scheduler thing. I'm not exactly sure that they've identified exactly why it's happening, um, or it kind of would have been patched, I imagine. Now, but essentially, some issue in there is causing it so that there's enough miss so that a fail-safe packet is, is a, a sent. And I don't think one's actually sent. I think it's just like, Betaflight says, hey, we've seen enough missing mm -hmm. information for long enough that we're going to consider this a failsafe. Just to be clear, a couple of people in chat are saying they're going to roll back to a different RC. Um, even though RC3 is the newest one, it does seem like people are reporting this is possible on RC2 and RC1 due to looking at the code and the way everything's set up. So I would not necessarily uh, assume that I was safe on RC1 and RC2. UAV Tech now, says RC4 yeah. will probably have this resolved. Now, um, so yeah. now, Blunty, when, when we talked about this uh, before the show, I asked you, who should I be pissed off at right now? Should I be pissed <laughs> yeah. off? Is this TBS's fault or is this the Betaflight dev's fault? Just let me know where to fling those knives. Yeah. Um, I personally think this is a TBS issue. And okay. that's because I don't think that if you're having trouble negotiating the baud rate, that you should continue to try to negotiate the baud rate. I feel like mm. there should be an initial boot where there's a baud rate negotiation for, let's say, 30 seconds or whatever's going to happen, right? And then you're good. Like, like I don't see any reason for it to continue <laughs> right. to attempt to negotiate that baud rate over and over again. Um, it's the same thing we reported on last week where you can't use three-wire CRSF um, on the newer Crossfire receiver uh, firmware. So you have to use four-wire. Uh, four mm -hmm. It's the same reason. Because they continue yeah. to try to negotiate even though they never see that information for the negotiation. So uh, to so, me, it should just fall back to the lowest baud rate if it doesn't get that negotiation happening properly in a certain amount of time, or there's a certain amount of fails or, or something with that negotiation, right? So your point is that it's TBS's fault because TBS should have designed the protocol to be more robust. However, yeah. we have to acknowledge that only Betaflight 4.3 has the problem. Betaflight 4.2 is fine. So I think Betaflight has to, of course, Betaflight is in release candidate. It's not officially released anyway. So what the hell are you doing running your $40,000 Cine lifter on a freaking release candidate, you bozos? Okay, fine. That's up to you. Mm, but Betaflight, it's not like if Betaflight was working optimally, then this issue wouldn't have come up. So maybe like 10% yeah. Betaflight's fault. I don't know. Yeah. Like um, I said, I feel like in any case like this, it should be on the RX to do that fallback and make sure that you're not having this this fluctuating, you know, baud rate, the ability to drop packets and things like shouldn't be possible. It should just be like, hey, we're running slow. Fix your shit so we can run fast. You know? Yeah. Mouse FPV says it can be both. The, the new Betaflight 4.3 scheduler has issues. Yeah, we know yeah. that it does. So so uh, who cares how much like to where it's just cute, like 
trolling for the news, trolling for the YouTube audience to say, who is at fault here? The bottom line is that if you're running Betaflight 4.3, you must install Crossfire 6.17 to disable Crossfire V3. Uh, and that will give you a little bit more latency, but who cares? Or you can go back to Betaflight 4.2 and everything is fine on Crossfire V3. That's up to you. And Betaflight RC4 oh. is supposed to fix this, but of course it's a release candidate, so who knows? So this, I guess it should also be pointed out that TBS did code the Betaflight side of this because they did the CRSF V3 implementation. So technically... So it is TBS's it, fault. It is TBS's fault, yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't sound. I'm I'm play, I'm hamming it up for the camera, but people take it seriously because people don't realize that 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 you know it's uh, everything is a little bit of a performance, and then they're like, "Bro, Bardro really hates TBS. He was so happy." It's like I'm just hamming it up for the camera. Take it easy.